All right, Chris, thank you. And at this hour, there are dark clouds moving into communities around the upstate. Here's a look at Greenville, Spartanburg, and Anderson. As we brace for that next round of storms, we're still cleaning up from weather that blew through the Carolinas this weekend. Take a look here. In Anderson County, roofs were blown off homes and trees came crashing down as 85 mile per hour winds swept right through the area. No one was hurt, but there were some close calls. 7 News Nicole Ford spoke to a family who was right in the line of damage. She's joining us now live with those stories. Nicole. Yeah, Tom, so this man who lives off West Whitner Street here in Anderson tells me he was asleep on Saturday night when he heard a crash. You can see the roots of this tree falling right in the middle of his home. He tells me when it fell, he actually felt the two sides of his house come up. You can see crews are actually here on scene today cleaning up the mess. But if you take a look at some of this video we shot yesterday over the weekend as well as earlier today, that this wasn't the only home that was damaged in these powerful winds. Saturday night, the National Weather Service estimated these straight line winds came in at about 85 miles per hour, leaving many without power for hours. Now, Judy Kreider says she is thankful the damage to her home wasn't worse, but she says she barely had time to react when she first heard the storm coming. My mother was in this bedroom asleep, and this is the sunroom, and um, the tree fell on both of them. Now, we talk a lot about having plans in place for tornadoes, but it's also important for your family to have a plan for these severe thunderstorms. As you can see here, these storms can do almost as much damage as tornadoes. We're live in Anderson tonight, Nicole Ford, 7 News. Nicole, thank you.